The NBA's players union is calling this excessive and inappropriate. Was it inappropriate with Kyrie Irving when he apologized after the NBA only gave him nine games? And then he gets traded to Dallas for a bunch of picks, a boatload of players, great for them. And he goes up there talking to the press in Dallas and says one thing before he takes questions. And he says, by the way, I will take back my apology to what I posted on my Twitter. He said, practically, it's a free country and I can do whatever the hell I want. You don't like it tough. Pretty much what he said in layman's terms. In nice terms, Kyrie Irving was just trying to cover his ass. Dallas went downhill. Luka Doncic gets hurt. And now we're talking about John Morant. John Morant is one of the top three, top four players in the NBA when healthy. He makes everybody around him better. His athletic ability, his ability to go to the hole, jump over people, he can shoot, he can do practically everything. And he's fun to watch and he's explosive and very efficient. But the NBA got this wrong. This man has been caught with a gun in his hand in the last three years, three times. One time threatening a kid on a basketball court playing a pickup game. It doesn't work. And for the NBA to sit here and say, well, we're going to suspend him for 25 games. That's it. That's enough. Is it? He's never going to learn. He is a kid who comes from a wealthy family, a family that didn't believe carrying guns and knives was safe. And he went to a private school. Why is it? When these players have a silver spoon put in their mouth and practically was set up not to fail, they fail and they get where they want to go. Bradley Beal was traded to the Suns on Sunday in exchange for Chris Paul, Landry, Shamet, two second round picks, and two first round pick swaps. So when you look at that trade, Josh Hart said it best on Twitter. He said, how does a team trade one of the better players at his position in the league for nothing. No first round draft pick. Chris Paul gets traded to Golden State. And what did they get out of this trade? A few first round swaps, two second round picks, which probably mean nothing, and Landry Shamet. And that's a good trade. The NBA allowed this trade. It was an absolute ripoff. They were trying to get RJ Barrett from the Knicks and two or three first round draft picks and maybe even Mitchell Robinson in the trade to get a guy of this stature in Bradley Beal. And they gave up Landry Shamet. Something's going on in the NBA. Something needs to be investigated from these teams. Something needs to be investigated from these owners. Because this is not a fair trade. This Bradley Beal trade was an absolute ripoff. The NBA should be investigating this. This is not right that the NBA allowed this trade. I think the NBA needs to look into it. I think that the players' union needs to shut their mouths. And I don't want to hear Chris Paul, who runs the players' union, that he says that the players' union only sticks up for the players and they back the players up. If you know it's wrong and you know it doesn't make sense, you should not accept that this trade was fair. By the way, Chris Paul was traded to the Lakers when the Lakers were good. Before it even happened, David Stern stepped in and said, this isn't a fair deal. This isn't right. I am going to veto this trade, which he did. Have we seen Adam Silver do any of those? No. Adam Silver has not been aggressive. Adam Silver has not spoken up. Adam Silver just seems like he wants to flap with those big ears to Disneyland as the new CEO of that organization, as well as and bought into an organization that right now isn't doing so well and decided to fire guys like Keyshawn Johnson. I don't understand it. I still don't realize that this business is more cutthroat than I ever believed it was. I know everybody thinks that the Knicks should bring in Paul George because that can change everything. They cannot give away pieces right now. They could have had Donovan Mitchell for either R.J. Barrett or Grimes. They decided not to do it. Now all of a sudden, Paul George, who by the way is not better than Donovan Mitchell, and you're going to give away those pieces that you were not going to give away for Donovan Mitchell? It doesn't make any sense. And that's why I don't think Paul George is going to be a Nick unless the Knicks get him on the cheap. If the Knicks could get Paul George on a cheap on trading away pieces, I'll do it. I'll take the money. I don't care because money is money and Dolan can afford it. But if you have to give away any of these youngsters or any of their lead players for this, I wouldn't do it. Here's a question. Would you add Julius Randle in a deal with it? And maybe Fournier, yes. maybe with one youngster, maybe just Toppin or just Quigley or something no. like that? Why? I, for a 33-year-old? No. Take Julius Randle. You need a wing defender okay. who can shoot the three. Paul George could do that. The problem with Paul George is he can't stay healthy. You're getting Julius Randle, who is an all-NBA player. They're practically the same player. I just think Paul George is more push defense first and then push offense. I don't think they need Paul George.